chain diverter is a device that would attach to this location right here and what it does is it kicks that rain out away from the siding itself so when that water's coming down that roof line to get into the gutter it prevents it from finding its way behind the siding here and so it's uh, made of plastic it could be made of uh, sheet metal um, they could be purchased and they could be made also so again that water hits it and it makes it and forces it to go into the gutter but in this case it doesn't have it and what's been happening over the last 17 years is it's been getting behind that siding and it's been finding its way down this line so let me show you the damage and how far that water has leaked all the way down into the basement areas uh, it's bypassed the sill plate and the flashing so here you have a flashing strip and there is house wrap back there also but it's found its way behind that area so let's take a look inside we're gonna go below this porch area where there is a um, concrete room and I'll show you some stains that where it's entered into this area here okay we're in the basement and this is underneath the front porch so as I explained this is a concrete room this is uh, sheet metal and then they pour the concrete on top but here you can see the stains that have weeped through in this corner area and on this other side when you start to get into the stick built framing here um, you're gonna start to see the stains here up into this rim joist that water has traveled all the way through to this location here so let's take a look inside the rim joist and remove some of this fiberglass insulation and now you're going to start to see the mold and the dry rot that it's caused. Yeah, my probe is going right through there. Yep, now I'm into the... That concrete is that stone out there. Next one here. Now somebody was aware of it because this was added afterwards. These blocks here. And then the next one over, yeah, see, somebody has added these blocks. And, uh, you know, that's not going to correct the damage that's occurred here. Yeah, so now you have the mold, dry rot. First thing to do is to get rain diverters on there. And now I'm starting to see some frazz uh, from carpenter ants. And right on down the line. Now there was another junction at this other end where it was missing a rain diverter also. And there's some more damage down that way. Thanks for watching the video. Like, share, and subscribe.